experts have just said that China is about to see a spate of bankruptcies. There is 91, 91 electric car manufacturers in China. Experts are saying that many of them are on the verge of bankruptcy. Could this set off a recession in China, possibly some sort of global effects? It could. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking, coming to you from Port Macquarie in New South Wales in Australia. Great to have you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. What's going on right now in China? Well, some companies in China are doing very well, but not many of them. Most companies are selling electric cars at a loss. You've got companies like GAC Aon, though, BYD and Tesla that are selling cars and doing really well in China. A lot of competition, but many of their rivals are selling it at big loss. And to give you an idea what is happening, it's huge disruption here because you're seeing GAC Aon. They just took over Mitsubishi's factory, Mitsubishi's main car factory in China because Mitsubishi basically just ran away from China. Mitsubishi is actually a pretty small Automaker. They only make about a million cars a year and they've lost pretty much all of their sales in China completely. They ran away and GAC said, okay, thank you. We'll take your factory. They're converting it, Mitsubishi's factory, into a new electric car factory. So you'd think, right, that if you're going to make EVs or if you're making EVs today, that's a win. It's positive. Not quite true. Experts say a bleak future is ahead for China's weakest EV makers. There's many of them. Probably at least 30 manufacturers in China will go bankrupt within the next 24 months. China Automotive Technology and Research Center data show that among 91 active EV makers in China, almost one third of them are registering sales of less than 500 vehicles a quarter. So one third of them are selling less than 200 cars a month or less than 50 cars a week to give you some context. I mean, less than 500, that means they're selling less than 2000 cars a year. Clearly this is completely unsustainable. And that is 30 manufacturers. 30 manufacturers are pretty much on the brink of bankruptcy in China. This will have huge effects to the entire Chinese automotive industry. Now, it may sound like it's not a big deal because these are just small manufacturers, they're small companies. Not true. In fact, completely false. The reason being, ever heard of Evergrande, the biggest property mogul conglomerate in China, one of the biggest companies, one of the five biggest companies in China? Well, they are an electric car manufacturer and they have been flailing, investing billions and nothing. They've got almost nothing to show for it. China Evergrande, new energy vehicle group, the EV maker that's part of the defaulted property developer and which in early 2019 bragged it would one day take on Tesla and Elon Musk, has lost a staggering 11 million for every single EV it sold in its short existence. $11 million for every EV it sold. That's $14.4 billion in losses on 1,300 vehicles registered so far. $14.4 billion. That's according to hyperdrive calculations based on the company's financial filings and car insurance industry data. Privately held WM Motor last week said a Shanghai court has accepted a pre-restructuring application as it grapples with financial difficulties, has seen sales collapse by more than 90% despite a slew of pay cuts and staff layoffs to reduce expenses. And WM Motor actually was one of the biggest EV manufacturers in China. Yep, well, it's not anymore. Things are changing incredibly quickly. Obviously, you can see here from this chart provided by Bloomberg that BYD is dominating the market. It has 36.3% market share. Tesla has 8.4% of the Chinese market. GAC Aon has 6.9% and SAIC, GM and Wuling, their tri venture has 7%. However, as you can see here, there's not a single legacy automaker in this list. 
They're all Chinese car companies except for Tesla. What does that tell you about the future of legacy automakers in China? Well, I think it's pretty damn obvious. They're screwed. Like Evergrande and EV, basically Evergrande EV division, which at one point had a market value more than Ford, it's a significant come down for WM Motor. Established in 2018, according to Automotive News, it showed so much promise. In investors' eyes, it attracted the backing of Beidou Inc. and Tencent Holdings, one of the biggest companies in the world. As the pair tread water, waiting for sales to materialize, which doesn't appear to be happening anytime soon, if ever, signs of further consolidation in China's too crowded EV sector well, they're very clearly here. There's no auto market in the world that can sustain 91 EV manufacturers. Of course, that's just their electric car manufacturers, not their car manufacturers, period. This doesn't even include Toyota, General Motors, Ford, and all the Chinese brands as well. At the same time, dominant players like Tesla and BYD are getting even stronger. The top 10 EV makers are on track to account for around 80% of all EV sales this year. The top 10 will account for 80% of sales, right? What does that tell you about General Motors, about Ford, about Toyota, about Honda, about Nissan? It tells you they're barely selling any EVs in China. If we look at these EV companies with minimal sales from a credit perspective, their main problems are a very high execution risk in strategy, sustained negative free cash flow and liquidity risk. It was Ying Yang, who is the director of China corporate research at Fitch Ratings. For those automakers, it's very hard to access the bond markets. Their refinancing risk becomes elevated if equity investors and banks walk away. Data from China Automotive Technology and Research Center show that while there are around 91 electric vehicle manufacturers right now in China, almost one third, as in 30 of them, are registering sales of less than 500 vehicles per quarter, less than 2,000 vehicles per year. Tesla, by way of comparison, shipped 74,000 cars last month alone from its factory in Shanghai. Brands such as Aways, Zochi, and Haima, for example, at their peak, used to be able to move hundreds or even thousands of electric cars in a quarter, but for the second quarter of 2023, their registrations stood at less than 20 vehicles. In other words, there are some of the biggest EV companies in China that are about to go bankrupt within a matter of weeks. It's it's right here, right now. What will this set off? What sort of chain reaction will this cause? I have absolutely no idea, but it is a little bit scary when you think about it. Based on the herfindahl hirschman Index, a metric used by academics and regulators to evaluate competition and measure market concentration, the sector is hovering around a threshold that marks a transition from overcrowded to simply concentrated. Select investors are continuing to back the most promising upstarts. However, that still leaves 30 companies, 30 major companies on the brink of bankruptcy. Xpeng in July scored a 700 million US dollar investment from Volkswagen Group, which the German automaker now holds 5% of the company, and they have a seat on the board. A probe into Xpeng's head of procurement won't disrupt business or production processes, says Xpeng confirming a local media report of a corruption investigation at the company. NEO, which has yet to make profit but aims to double sales to 250,000 EVs this year, has sold a 7% stake to an entity controlled by Abu Dhabi for 740 million US dollars and is considering raising another $3 billion in the Middle East People familiar with the matter said last month, NEO has an appetite for debt like you've never seen before. In fact, it's losing approximately $50,000 in every car it sells. And there are still companies trying to muscle into the EV market, like Xiaomi Corporation, and like all the legacy automakers that you know. I mean, 
Obviously, Nissan, Toyota, Honda, General Motors, Ford, they're all trying to make EVs to ramp up sales. The Chinese smartphone maker, Xiaomi, is holding talks with established automakers on potential production partnerships as it waits for Beijing to approve a license that would give it the right to manufacture EVs itself. But with sales of electric vehicles in China slowing recently and exports more than doubling last month as domestic demand declines, it's, well, it's really hard to see how stragglers like WM Motor and Evergrande and any of those other 30 electric car companies that are producing almost no cars now with almost zero demand can stick around for the long term. They can't. Obviously, the end is very, very close. Their demise will have come sooner rather than later. And it could send chills through the global financial market. Now, right now, thanks to the war in Israel uh, and in the Gaza Strip and the war in Ukraine and Russia, the global economy is really sitting on that precipice where we could see some major shocks very, very soon. A lot of bankers are predicting it. My, my advice is put yourself in a position where you not overextended. Don't put yourself in a position where you have, you know, you're shorting stocks, you're putting put options down, you're risking money that you may not be able to pay back. That's my advice at this point in time because possibly we're in for a big economic shock. But tell me your opinion on this, guys. What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.